Greetings, members one and all of the Salivation Nation. What exciting news. A trove of 1,200-year-old Arabian Nights gold coins were uncovered in Israel. I love these found, found treasure stories, at least the parts where they actually find it, not the part where the government essentially confiscates it. But let's explore. Yes, this comes to us from the Jerusalem Post, and it's a jug full of rare 1,200-year-old gold coins was discovered in an excavation in Yavna just ahead of Hanukkah, the Israeli Antiquities Authority announced. Look at that. Here's the uh, image of the hoard here. A Hanukkah present straight from the legendary 1001 Nights has brightened the holiday of a group of Israeli archaeologists. The Antiquities Authority announced Sunday that a juglet, never heard of that term, I guess it's a little tiny, like a piglet, is a pig, a piglet is a small pig, well a juglet it must be a small jar, full of rare 1200 year old gold coins was discovered in excavation in Yavne just before the festival. The site is being excavated by the IAA prior to the building of a new neighborhood in the city. I was in the middle of a cataloging a large number of artifacts we found during the excavations when all of a sudden I heard shouts of joy. Liat Nadev Ziv, coordinator of the excavation, said on behalf of the IAA. I ran toward the shouting and saw Mark Monkondov, a veteran archaeologist of the Israeli Antiquities Authority, approaching me excitedly. We quickly followed him to the field where we su were surprised at the sight of the treasure. This is without a doubt a unique and exciting find, especially during the Hanukkah holiday. Very cool. Look at that. I ran towards the shouting and saw Mark, a veteran archaeologist of the antiquities, approaching me excitedly. We quickly followed uh, to the film to the field. I guess that's a repeat of the same thing. So she didn't add it. She just repeated it. As revealed by the IAA, coin expert Robert Cool. The coins date back to the early Abbasid period, which is the 9th century CE. Uh, the period marked the beginning of a golden age for the Muslim Empire uh, and the Abbasid rulers acquiring international status in promoting art, science, commerce, and industry. According to Kul, among the coins was a dinar from the reign of Caliph Harun al-Rashid, which was reigned from 786 to 809. Keep in mind that the uh, uh, Islam basically was founded at around 600 um, AD. His court was the setting of many parts of the world-renowned 1001 Nights, also known as Arabian Nights. The hoard also includes coins that are rarely found in Israel. These are gold dinars issued by the Aglibi dynasty that ruled in North Africa in the region of modern Tunisia on behalf of the Abisad Caliphate centered in Baghdad, he added. Without a doubt, this is a wonderful Hanukkah present for us. Archaeologists excavating the site also found a large amount of pottery kilns used to produce jars, pots, and bowls. The juglet containing the gold coins was uncovered nearby the experts suggested it might have been the potter's piggy bank. So it's a piglet bank where he uh, had kept his personal savings. The kilns date back to the end of the Byzantine and beginning of the early Islamic period, 9th, 7th to 9th century CE. Even older artifacts were revealed in the region, according to the IAA. A large wine production installation dating back to the Persian period, 4th and 5th centuries was uncovered in a different area of the excavation. Co-director of the excavation, Eli Haddad, explained that an initial analysis of the contents of the installation revealed ancient grape pips, or seeds. Haddad added, the size and number of vats found at the site indicated that wine was produced on a commercial scale well beyond the local needs of Yavani's, Yavan's ancient inhabitants. That is quite a fascinating piece of history there. No question. Now, I'll just on a side note, maybe some of you who are into this type of thing, botany and the like, can you take ancient seeds and grow them today if you put water on them and put them in the right conditions? I don't know. I'd be curious to see. If so, then that wine would be worth a lot of money for a bottle of that stuff.
For sure. Now, the other thing is, is, uh, you know, this was found by the Antiquities Association. I don't know what Israeli policy is for new development, but it would make sense to have it uh, checked, have the site checked um, uh, for archaeological historical artifacts before uh, a construction project takes place. And in that case, I think that's wonderful because of how much history is in Israel. And really in England, too. I think they should probably do the same thing in England and other places that are part of the old world, for sure. So very, very fascinating indeed. Look at these coins. Uh, quite interesting and uh, fascinating. A personal savings. So there's the bank of the day. A place where it was stored. And the little juglet. Yes, indeed. So post your thoughts below. What do you think about this find? I think it's uh, quite interesting. I always enjoy uh, reporting these stories to you of uh, of such amazing treasure out there. And, uh, and if you have anything like that that you find, shoot it to me in an email. Send me an email with a link to it. And I'll be glad to check it out and report on it. Uh, very cool indeed. A multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. And I want to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.